Hey y'all, Ryan here from Planetary Laboratory, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I cut through rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan and in Wisconsin. So this week, I say that because this week we have these six pieces of, you know, banded iron formation or chert, jasper, hematite mixes, maybe some mudstone. Um, we're going to cut through them all, see if we can get some cool cross sections. So this first one is a little pink one. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the Wisconsin thing, most of these are from my fish camp where I go up near Tipler, Wisconsin, almost to the Michigan border. Some of them might be from the lakeshore, but I'm not 100% sure. I think this one is, um, and maybe this one, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, so this is the second one. This one just has a really cool band of hematite there, and then, you know, right there. But then I don't know if there's going to be any more patterning inside of this thing. So I think I'm going to just take a slab off that way. This one we're going to go right down the middle. This one's a little more broken up. So I'm not sure what to expect with that one. Another one that's kind of like just a muddled one. You know, a little bit of yellow in there too. A little bit of that pink. Um, I don't know. We'll see. You know, all these should have some pretty cool layering on the inside. But you never know. This one's a little more jaspery or maybe churdy, um, but still has that banding going on. So we'll zip that one right in the right in half. And then this is a very red one. Um, you can see a little bit of hematite right there. And then a lot of red, a lot of layers again, some chert there. So we're going to go right down the middle of that guy too and just see if we can find some uh, cool cross sections in some of these. So we're going to use the high tech. 10 inch slab saw, like a medium centered blade, just so I can get a nice good straight cut. Um, and again, if you guys use accessory or use high tech tools and you want 10% off your accessories, you can type in planetary in all capital letters when you check out with them um, and you get 10% off all your accessories. So I'll leave a link to them down in the description. So let's get this thing set up and we'll get cutting. Okay, so first one, telltale sign of banded iron is that dirty water right there. So this is that first thin one with the pink. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Really cool. I love that pink against the like iron stained stuff, yellow stained. Really cool. Really cool patterns in there. So I'll be able to get two, two out of here. Maybe even, eh, yeah, just two, probably just pieces out of this one just like that pink and then he actually got some of that yellow that stayed in here let me get these things rinsed here once maybe some of this uh stuff will come off there i rinsed them off a little bit there now you can see the grit in the water really really cool though definitely uh exactly what i'm looking for you know just crazy kind of all different colored patterns in there so all right one for one let's get on to number two Okay, so second one here, as you can see, I just took the end off in hopes of maybe getting one or two more slabs off of this thing, if it looks cool in there. It kind of just looks brown on the outside, but let's see. Oh, look at that one. With the yellow in there in between the lines and all the like pink and reddish. Very, very cool. So I'll definitely get some more slabs off of this one so I can get some cabochons or something out of that. That's a really, really good one. And I left it just thick enough where I can maybe get one or two off of there. So, and I can probably save this end piece too and make something out of it for sure. So, all right, definitely two for two. On to the next one. Okay, number three. This is the one I think is probably from Lake Michigan, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't really remember, but let's see. Ooh, another really good one. All those little yellow specks in there, like in between the like lavender color and the red color. 
Very, very cool. Very cool layers. That's a cool little bump in there too. But I really love that yellow. Like right there, you can see it all through and right there. Polishes up really cool. So I might uh, have these just for ends for polish, you know, do some face polishing. Maybe it'll kind of turn into a picture. Kind of looks like a picture already, but all right. All good so far. Let's get on to the next one. All right, so that one I kind of cut wherever I could get a flat end off. It was kind of a weirdly shaped one, so I kind of just cut it so this piece would be flat. Ooh. Very pink and orange streak in there. Some patterning in there too, like all in here. That's all layer, different layers. Very cool. A very pink and red one, a bunch of different shades and then some orange right in the middle. Very, very cool. Not, not as many bands as I would hope like in, you know, some of the other ones already, but still very, very cool. We'll polish up really good. This will be a nice uh, dark side stone, you know, do the edges, do the face, and then leave the back raw. All right, let's get on to that next one. Okay, this was another one that was kind of oddly shaped, so I just kind of went right down the middle. And this one, I'm not 100% sure if it actually is. Ooh, it's a very cool brush if it's not banded iron. I think it still is. This brown could be, or this orange could just be some mudstone in there, and this could just be some other, you know, I don't know, maybe Jasper and Quartz brush ya. Still very, very cool though, like right in there, all the little black dots in there too. Very, very cool. All these have been turning out uh, pretty good so far. I got all of them have that red color or pink color so far. So, all right, on to the last one. Okay, so last one. This was the one with all that red all those different colors, hopefully some of it goes through. Ooh, look at that. Very, very cool. All those different layers in there. Got the hematite right there, you can see the dark. Got some little yellow in there. Here's the other side. Oh yeah, very, very cool. So those, oh, you can see all the, all the staining coming off and the drips. But very, very cool. Look at all that different colors in there, all the different shades, red, yellow, pink, big old patch of hematite right there and that one. Very, very cool. So a lot of these are going to polish up really, really good. You know, like when you polish this, all of those different colors will pop. And once they're clean, all those yellow drips will be off. <laughs> but definitely, I would say uh, six for six. Probably five of the six were banded. Maybe that uh, last one might not have been, but I'm not 100% sure. But all in all, very, very cool. Every single one of them. Such random patterns in these. It's I love them. All right, so if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.